Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm a random Dark Link, and in the last video we uh, we explored the monastery, and now we are <laughs> oh dear <laughs> gonna be playing this uh, this chapter, which is a little bit um, which might be a tad difficult, uh, given the um, well you know the lack of of grinding, but you know. The newly crowned king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Dimitri, has declared fealty to the Church of Seros. Uh, oh my God, he has not lost an eye in this one. <laughs> is what I said during my first playthrough of this. Yeah. As leader of the alliance, Claude. I patchless Dimitri. That's so interesting. You only get to see this in in this route, but yeah. Meanwhile, the Black Eagle Strike Force plans to capture Alliance territory before Edelgard takes the war to the Kingdom and the Church of Seros. Ah, okay. With sights set on capturing Deirdre at the center of House Regan's territory, she leads a march across the Great Bridge of Murden to establish a bridgehead. Ah, okay. Yeah, this, this chapter's going to be a little bit tense. Um... For more than one reason, just because it's going to be, um... <clears throat> oh my god, it changed the double-headed eagle of the... Oh, wow, I just I'm noticed that. Our attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. But first, allow me a moment of your time. Certainly. What do you need? It is something that I can only ask of you. Listen well. Yes. It concerns Lady Edelgard's uncle, the regent of the Empire, Lord Arendelle. Yes. Although he is currently cooperating with Her Majesty, he maintains his own sizable military troops. Ah. It seems to me that his plans differ from our own. Mm. I assume you recall a certain group scheming from five years ago? Solon and Kranya. They both served Lord Arendelle. Why must we, we cooperate? Professor, I understand how you must be feeling. Considering what they did to your father. Yeah. It must be foul to even consider cooperating with their kind. Mm -hmm. However, their power is essential for us at present. Edelgard also strongly opposed the idea at first. Our enemy is the Church of Seros itself. It cannot be toppled with the Empire's might alone. Those working under Lord Arendelle are extremely hostile toward the Church. Oh, and the enemy okay. Our enemy is... I think you sufficiently understand by now. I mean, are you sure that's a good idea? Until all of Fodlan is united, it is a necessary evil. As for how we deal with him afterward, time will tell. Okay. Regardless, Her Majesty and I wish So, to we're basically just using them to add more military might and then uh, taking them out afterwards. Okay, cool. I'm on board with that. If it means I get to kill them eventually. The former emperor as a puppet, and murdered her siblings with their vile experimentation. Yep. I believe her majesty may have told you some of this herself. Yeah, she did. That is why this was a very painful decision for her to make. I, I can imagine, I'll do all yes. all I can to ensure her suffering is not in vain. And I hope I can count on you to do the same. For sure. For, all I have for told, sure. Please yeah. Please keep it in mind as we march forward. Got it. I implore you to fight as best you can for Edelgard. From the bottom of my heart, I beg this of you. Certainly, certainly, uh, Hubert, I will, uh, I will keep that in mind. Sorry if knuckle cracking isn't your, like, uh, most, uh, pleasant sound for anyone to hear. So, we are just going to choose our characters to bring into battle. Um, it will really help to have a great amount of you and mobility to you know utilize in this whole um thing here because um we want to make sure that okay, this this chapter is a little weird okay we can bring 11 characters which is great i like that so um so out of the 12 that uh will need to be taken uh 
Bernadette is definitely coming along. I have to come along too. Uh, automatically, we could probably rule out the level 32s. Yeah. I won't have a dancer, unfortunately, but... Um, yeah, this is unfortunately what needs to happen, so we are all able to... Uh, basically go on. Hopefully, uh, Death Knight. <laughs> uh, I should probably give him uh, another sword or something. Um, actually, just another lance because he's pretty good with those anyway. So, and for some reason, has a C plus in axes. Okay, that's that's a cool uh, thing there. I gotta see what other skills that he has so we can uh, plan accordingly. I'm gonna take the steel sword, why not? Um hmm. Abilities. Oh Wait. I'm sorry, what? You have mastermind. Um I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put that on you! <laughs> wow, I, I really should have looked at this skill list, because, you know... And then I'm gonna give him a battalion. Jeez, I, I, I can't believe he has... Okay, so he can... Wow, he can use uh, B-level battalions. Cool. Um... The Reaper Knights. There we go. That's what I want to assign you. That's that's your signature battalion that I got from a previous run. So uh, there we go. And of course, that means uh, assigning a Judens. So that includes set is there. Uh. We want to make sure Ferdinand is paired with someone. Uh, fortunately, there are no Judens to sign to Constance, so that's uh, that's going to make things a little bit harder to gain support points there. Um, but because I know that I'm going to be doing this, uh, I'm going to assign Alois as my Judent here. Mm. And try to make that work. Um... And of course, because I want this occurring. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so there's definitely some cavalry going on here. A uh, few fortress knights. And this is the person we're going to need to try and take out here, or else the chapter is going to go into a bit of, of a long um, drive here. You have a brave bow. Oh, we get to start some people over here, too. That's cool. Um, yeah, in that case, I, I actually do want my lower-leveled characters up around here. If I can. Um, yeah. That will be pretty nice here. 31, 32, 31... I'm putting Constance there, actually, because, you know, the two ranged tome wielders are going to be, I'm going to be placing over here in, as a last resort in case, like, I need to take some drastic measures, and you'll see why, because it, it might just, you know, save our butts in the ensuing struggle. Oh dear god, I'm scared of this chapter. I am so scared of this chapter. And what it's going to, you know... Going to evolve here. Um... There's also quite a few enemies at our doorstep, so... I mean, I... Yay, yay, yay. 
I mean, what I'm mostly concerned by are these two guys here with the uh, battalions, because they can immobilize us, and just based on, well, what the game, what this chapter has in store for us, like, I actually don't want to get immobilized in this chapter, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be rough. We'll be capturing the Great Bridge of Murden, a mm -hmm. key strategic location of the Leicester Alliance. Mm-hmm. Claude will surely be sending reinforcements, so we must prevail before they arrive. Our opponent is Judith, the so-called hero of Daphnel. Understood. We can handle her, so long as we don't get careless. Got it. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but... Yeah. I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. Take that comment to heart. Because, well, I mean, uh, she might run, actually. So, yeah. And you need to defeat her to beat this chapter. So, um. Yeah, uh, just to get going on the. You know, just giving experience to the Death Knight. He starts out strong right off the bat. And since we have the Mastermind skill, uh, he only needs 100 battles to master his Death Knight class, which is good because he will learn Counter-Attack. And then he basically has all the skills that he basically needs. <laughs> and he's good. He's legit good. I'll cut a bloody path. Oh, well, you know. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm not sure if I exactly want to... And, of course, you're going to do that! Fantastic. Um <clears throat> I do this for all of us. Well then help me out here because I'm going to need to use a battalion of my own. I got it. Thank you. If you can gain get to level 30 here so I can make you a falcon knight soon like that would be incredibly helpful. Okay, so that that gives us. I'm awake. A th I, I I could. I will prevail. I will prevail. Just other than like I will get the. Oh, it's so much better having her as a flyer. Oh my god. Um, and yeah, the the earliest uh bro flyers will be well the bow users like. It's three, four, five, um, yeah, they're mostly centered around this area, so, really, I mean, it's just gonna be... More fighting. Oh, yeah. I know how you don't like that, Dorothea, so, I hope it's... Sunshine. No, that's, that's new. New quote, sunshine. Yep. Put me in there. Uh, eventually. Let's make this quick. Understood. Um, but, yeah, I mean... Oh. Okay. I'm gonna do that here. Okay, so that's gonna be eighteen. She's is she gonna die? Is she gonna die? Twelve. Twelve plus eighteen. Oh, she'll barely survive, but you know, she will survive. So I'm just gonna put Linhart here What's to eventually strategy? heal Bernie with. Yeah, okay, so it was definitely a good idea to mobilize these two so, you know, we're not facing too many enemies. Oh, hey, I'm next to the Death Knight to support. What do you do? Okay, oh, here we go. Mm. Oh my god, I love her hairstyle. Thank you. That's 12 damage, and here comes the 18. Oh, never mind. Decided to go for Linhart instead. Okay, well, I mean, that... That, uh, lowers my... 
my worry about Bernie. But, I mean, unfortunately, you're screwed now. Level 29! Aw, no oh, man. Once again, just need to promote her to a Falcon Knight, and we're... We're a little bit better off standing wise. You know, I'm really just relying on that rape here to, you know, give us uh, some more damage at this point. So, um, oh, hey, I can take out this guy with one blow from an iron sword. Nice. And I'm with Louise, who's just in a generic warrior palette, but that's fine. It's absolutely fine. For some reason, he also. Recently, the Death Knight also has magic, so... Yeah. Wait, wait a sec. How much did the Scythe of Serial weigh? Six. Ten. Oh my... Wow. Okay, so his AES would go up in that case. Dear. Oh dear. <clears throat> Well, uh... Unfortunately, someone is just a little bit too powerful. I had this really weird dream last night where I, uh, I dreamt that I was sort of getting, uh... Someone was... Constantly trying to kill me. And every time that I thought I landed some sort of, like, you know, death blow on them, like, they just end up, uh, well, Delightful. they somehow just, for some reason, they end up, like, uh, you know, resurrecting with no harm caused or, like, any idea that, you know, anything occurred. So, like, I, it was a really weird, weird dream. Anyways, I'm gonna continue to... Okay, so plan B is officially in place. I'm putting Constance over there specifically because, uh, yeah. I'm also going to place Dorothea here pretty soon, too, because, you know, it's going to be instrumental in making sure that, uh, while we succeed in this map, we put those two long rangers, like, at the end of this here. Okay, uh, I'm just going to be careful. I'm going to mark the archers here. That's the area that I'm going to need to avoid with my with my flyers. I am more concerned about this uh, general, so I, I will retreat back to a safe space. I'll put Petra here just, you know, to hopefully, uh, heal Bernie. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so we provoked one archer. You're all going down. Oh, boy. Okay, so there's an archer headed that way. Cool. You're definitely going after Petra. Are you going after Petra? Or are they... And you're going after the Ballista, probably. Yeah. Well, in that case... Um... Hmm. Judith is actually right there. Um... If we do this correctly, we could actually, you know... Manage to, uh... I have to worry as much. Though, I, I mean, I'm still a little bit on edge. Uh, given our situation here. But, you know, it's not like, um... I'm too worried. Also, how much does that rapier do, damage-wise? Because that's probably gonna have to go... Probably gonna go down due to, like, high defense. Yeah, yeah, it's normal damage if you did not have, like, the high defense that you had. Uh, 
There's got to be some magic that you are... Ah, darn it. Okay, how about... Uh, we do Steel Sword twice. So long as you don't crit, we're good. And Mercedes is level 21, but that really doesn't, that really doesn't matter. Um, just an adjutant. Okay, now Bernie can gain uh, Armor Slayer or Rapier. Oh, actually, the Armor Slayer does a little bit more damage. So, doesn't have to, like, worry about getting hit by this... This powerhouse. Cool. I'm really just trying to feed kills to Bernie because I really do want her to promote into a Falcon Knight. And she was... The, the team that was most, like, screwed over by the, uh... What a bother. The time skip level up. So, yeah. I mean, also... I, I'm i concerned about you, very much so, in, in your role in, like, taking other enemies out. <sighs> Man, I... You're level 30, but still don't have the required ranks necessary to get even a small chance of becoming a Dark Floor. Well at becoming a, uh... Yeah, uh... I'm gonna have to do a clutch kill on Aelogard again, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, but it's gonna have to come to that. Just to prevent Battalion. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just keep rocking your hair. Heal. Awesome. Okay, so now, uh, so now everyone in this corner is in range. I'm just keeping them there because, just in case. Okay. Ooh, Constance is actually drawing them away. Okay, well in that case, oh. There's the reinforcements. Sorry to keep you waiting, Judith. We're the reinforcements. Why do I have to put up with orders from that false leader? Enemy reinforcements. We didn't... Understood. I won't let them secure the ballista. Instead... Oh god, three archers. Oh man, um... This might be a little bit tricky. Hmm. And you have two wyverns on you too, so... Yeah, this is... Be a little bit tricky, though... Unless I try to go for Judith, like, right now. Like, I could, actually. I could go for Judith. But also, I really... Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, this is... This, this chapter's a mess. Um, in that case, I'm gonna do that. And why not? It looks like I'm done for. But I'm sorry. Yeah, I do not want to deal with reinforcements. Thank you. You gained a level, so that's nice. Ugh, that's right. Dang it. I mean it's more strength. So, Alliance soldiers, Judith has fallen. Further conflict is futile. If you surrender, your lives will be spared. Lay down your weapons immediately. Well, I mean, cool. I'll just say if you defeated Akron or a certain number of enemies, uh, Judith would have fled, and then you would have had to chase after her, and I was not willing to do that at all so i mean 
yeah, some of these chapters can get a little bit, uh, some of them can actually be incredibly short, others can be incredibly long as... With this victory, we now have a foothold in the Alliance. Awesome. The Imperial Army will cross the Aramid River and push the front lines forward. It means I can finally train, which is great. to stop you from taking pride in our hard-won victory. Ah, this should put a stop to one of Edelgard's choice phrases. Well done, Professor. I believe it was, if only the Professor were here, we could forge ahead and change the tides of this war. Ferdinand, it is not necessary to tell the professor such things. <laughs> We're not the only ones benefiting. The whole Imperial Army is stronger now. Mm. Yes, it seems the Empire finally has both of its legs to stand on. Don't you agree? Oh boy. You make it sound as though I can't run the Empire on my own. Perhaps it's more apt to say that the Pegasus has recovered its home. Judith of Daphne. What a magnificent warrior. Yeah. I'm happy to have the professor back just like old times, but I don't think I'll ever get used to this cruel exchange of lives. Yeah. When there is something you must not be conceding, you must keep fighting. It's it's not the fighting has been it's not the best. for five years. But now I am again witnessing the professor's power. I hate fighting. But with the professor here, maybe it's slightly less terrible? Oh, but everyone is working so hard. Stop it, Bernie. You can't be the only one complaining. Oh, I'm man. I see everyone is so inspired. It seems the reappearance of the professor has done much to raise your morale. Yeah. Do you Thankfully. not feel the same, Hubert? Come now, be honest with yourself. Oh, boy. Now, we must <laughs> take advantage of the situation and blaze ahead. Our path is still a long way. Subtle passive aggressiveness toward Hubert's. Okay, hopefully I get access to the full month now, because that would be really good. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.